Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is my lipstick. It's actually two together. It is the Makeup Forever C211 and also the Fenty Beauty Madame Plush Mademoiselle Lipstick. I mix the two of them together just to like tone down the red a little bit. Not that I don't like the red, but today I was just looking for something a little bit more neutral. Going a little glam, going out to a concert tonight, so my shirt is also very shiny. It's perhaps not the greatest thing to wear on camera, but you know, I love this shirt and I don't really mind. So that's what we're gonna do. And now on to the video. I have been trying to film all day today and somebody is practicing the French horn in my building. While I will say in general the soundproofing is great, I really don't hear any of my neighbors, I do hear when everybody is practicing their instruments. And someone down the hall has an upright bass, someone has a French horn, someone across the way has bagpipes, and there's at least a couple opera singers. I myself am a singer, I practice guitar, I have a theremin, and I play concertina, which is like the little piratey squeeze box thing. Just, you know, bear with me if you're hearing something strange in the background. And for today's video, we're going to look at my Sephora Play Box. So first I'm going to talk about what I got in last month's box just really quickly as a recap and then we'll move on to the new stuff. And this is my big list that came from last month of what I ended up getting. I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. It's a clear brow gel, which I actually gave to my mom, so she took that away from me. I also got the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream in the C211. I already had this particular lipstick, so I gave the brand new one to my mother because she likes it. However, uh, it just reminded me that I had the old one, so that's why I'm wearing it today because I actually do really like the lipstick. I think it's really good. I also got a Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray, which I haven't used too much because um, right now I'm really obsessed with my Way Wave Spray, but I do intend to use it at some point, so I am keeping it. Uh, I also got a Grand Cosmetics Grand Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper in clear. I don't really use lip plumpers, so I did give that one away as well, but not because there's anything wrong with it, it's just not something I'm going to use. And then I got an Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I think that does smell really nice. I used it once. So far I do like it. Uh, it's not going into like my regular rotation of masks. I have a lot of masks, but I will use it periodically and I'm sure I'll use it up before it goes bad. And last up, I had the Amica Buster Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. It was a little foil packet. Uh, my cat ate that, and he stained my bathroom floor when he was eating it. He's fine. He didn't actually ingest very much of it. He just chomped it up and then got purple shampoo all over the floor, which kind of stained the white tiles. I had to scrub it for a while. So, uh, word to the wise on that one. It will stain your floor if you don't know that it's happening. Um, he's fine. The floor is now fine. Uh, I didn't actually get to try out the shampoo, though. It smelled good. Uh, unfortunately, I just may never know. And now onto this month's box. This month's box is in a clear plastic bag. So if I look at the bag, I can kind of see what's in it. Part of like the fun of when I open up my Sephora play bag, I don't know what's in there and I like to be surprised and sort of give an actual, you know, legitimately don't look at it before I do the video. I wait to do the video and actually reach in and try to guess what's in there. Like that's legitimate. I'm not making that up for fun. That's actually how I like to do the play bag. So this is what I can kind of see through it. So I flipped it over so it's less um, transparent on one side. I know that I think one of them is like a perfume sample. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. So I will admit what I think it is before I pull it out. But everything else, I haven't seen it yet. And I'm just going to not even look at it. But if I hold this up, you're all going to see what's in there too. I'll show you the plastic bag at the end. So first up, I'm pretty sure this is a Victor and Raw flower balm. Um, I'm not positive, but that's what it looked like through the thing. And it is and it isn't. It's Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar. So that is a, it is another perfume and it says that it's an intense perfume. I don't know how different it is from actual Flower Bomb, but let's give it a smell. It's a lot like regular Flower Bomb. It's very sweet. It's incredibly sweet actually. I don't think this is a perfume for me. I don't actually use the regular Flower Bomb either, but I've gotten it several times. Uh, I appreciate at least it's not exactly the same, but I know that this is not going to be a scent for me. However, uh, I usually take all my extra perfume samples when I collect enough. I'll take them to the gym and somebody picks them up from there. So uh, I'm going to pass this one along. Uh, it is very sweet smelling. So if that's something you're into, if you like the Flower Bomb, but you want it to be even sweeter than that, you might like this. Next up. This feels like a pencil of some kind and because it has a really fat cap, it feels like a Sephora pencil. So who knows? Uh, no. What is this? What brand is this? Oh, this is from the brand Nude Sticks. This is an intense matte lip and cheek pencil in the shade Kiss. This is basically, it kind of looks like a Bite Beauty pencil or a Sephora pencil, but it's not. I'm not super familiar with Nude Sticks. I think I've had like one other sample from Nude Sticks over time. Uh, so it looks like a nice like deep plummy berry type of color. On the nudie side though, like it's like a your lips but better, a little bit darker kind of thing. 
Uh, I'm not positive I will use this. I don't tend to use um, this kind of pencil, either from Bite Beauty. I had some from NARS, for example. I didn't use all that often either. Uh, so I will take a look at this. I may just pass this on to my cousins because, well, you know, it, I don't want to open stuff that I know I'm not really going to use or I'm going to use it once just for the sake of the channel. That's pointless. I'll just give it to somebody who will actually use it. So uh, at first glance, I'm not positive I'm really going to keep this. I, I have other things that will give me this sort of shade. I don't love a stick pencil. Uh, this feels like a Sunday Riley like title cream. Oh, that's hilarious. This is Sunday Riley title cream. It's the same little uh, smooth little jar. It also, they, they put the mini sizes of like the uh, vitamin C serum in there as well. I, I was really guessing and I it's very funny. I obviously spend way too much time, you know, at Sephora playing with makeup. So uh, this is a brightening enzyme water cream. I will use this eventually. Uh, It'll be good to like take traveling. Uh, it's not my current moisturizing cream that I use. Um, that's my belief true cream aqua bomb. But I do like this stuff as well, and I do like the Sunny Riley brand. I'm a big fan of Good Jeans and the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Um, this feels like a mask. It's probably a mask. Yep, this is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask. The biggest thing about this is that I love the packaging on it. It's really got this beautiful like ombre effect. Although, unfortunately, I can see through it and tell that there's at least like half an inch that doesn't have any product. So the product is only this far and down. I love Peter Thomas Roth masks. This is one I don't already own, so I will use it eventually. Uh, this one is supposed to nourish and restore for smoother, younger, healthier looking skin. That's cool. Uh, it does seem to be one of those that it's going to turn my face, like, it's going to heat up on my face, which I've used another mask of that, and it, it got really disconcerting after a little while. Uh, but I thought it was pretty nice. So I haven't tried this one before, so I will use this one. Two to go. This feels like a tube of Neosporin. I don't know what this is. Maybe an eye cream? Nope, it's from Too Faced. This is the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I feel like I've gotten this before. Did I get it in a spray maybe? That's what I got? Yeah, I got a spray of this. I've never used this particular one. I did use the spray a little bit, like the refreshing spray. Uh, and I thought it was fine. I just didn't use it all that often. I don't tend to use um, facial sprays too much in general. I always forget to use setting spray and, you know, I'm a very oily, sweaty person sometimes, so there's only so much a setting spray can do. I haven't tried this particular primer, and I have heard good things about it, so this one I will add to the collection. And last but not least, this cardboard box. So this is a Sephora Lash Craft. This is Big Volume Mascara. Uh, what is the big deal about this? This is Volume Extreme in Black Noir. So Lashcraft Big Volume, I've seen the packaging for this at the store, I've never tried this particular one. It's got a curved brush. I'm trying to think what this brush looks like in terms of like a drugstore product. I've had mascara with a similar wand to that. So this is basically going to give me big volume. I do enjoy big volume. I was really disappointed in the formula of the Monsieur Big from Lancome because I got huge volume on it but it was flaky all the time and it did not react well to heat whatsoever. So I would love to find a mascara that gives me the same kind of volume as that with better staying power. I've had pretty good luck with Sephora brand mascaras. I really love the colored ones that they have like the blues and the greens. They actually hold up pretty well. So this one I haven't actually tried because I haven't tried any of the new ones recently because I have so much backup mascara I haven't needed any. But I, this one I will definitely keep this sample. That's something I really would like to try because I like a big volume mascara. I want my eyes to look like crazy gigantor lashes. So this is the bag that everything came in and as you can see, like if I put my hand in there you can you can see my hand through it. Um, so that takes a little bit of the fun out of it. Usually these are in a cloth bag that I can reuse. I don't know if this little plastic guy is recycling. Yes, be sure to recycle this bag when you're done with it because Play by Sephora loves the planet. Um, so this particular little ziploc -y guy, I'm not going to keep this, I am going to recycle it. Yeah, Open bag, pour out samples, high five self. That's cool Sephora Play, you do you. 
Uh, just as an FYI, for those of you who don't know, you also get 50 Beauty Insider points. You can shop in store or online with these things in order to uh, turn it in for extra samples. And you get this little packet here, which tells you exactly what's in the bag. And these are $10 a month. You can sign up on the Sephora website or through the Sephora app, and it just comes to your house every month. Uh, so far, I've been really enjoying my Sephora Play Box overall. There are some months where I get annoyed because I feel like I'm getting repeats of stuff or stuff that they just were pushing like as a hundred point thing and they couldn't get rid of them so they threw them into the bag. I feel like that's not in the spirit of things. I really would like to try new stuff. So uh, what I am going to do is I'm actually doing the research right now. I'm going through all the play boxes that I've gotten since I started the subscription because we're at about a year uh, since I actually started this subscription. And I'm going to write down exactly what propelled me to actually purchase a full size of something and how many like duds and misses I ended up with as well. So I want to see if this is actually worth it now that I've done it for pretty much an entire year. Was it worth having this subscription for the amount of money that I've spent on it? You know, it seems like a fun time when I get it because I do like to get new stuff and like I collect my little things, but I didn't get this for free. Like sometimes I'll get a lot of samples from Sephora, but I'll sort of, you know, work the system to get to the maximum number of samples. This I actually did pay for and I want to make sure that I'm actually getting my money's worth. But I didn't want to like quit prematurely before I figured out like overall if it was a good idea or a good buy. So I'll let you guys know next month how that was going and uh, how I really feel about the subscription. And uh, I think once I do all the rest of that research, I'll know whether I'm going to put this guy on pause or continue on collecting it every month. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the content on this channel. If so, please subscribe. And I hope you're all having a wonderful night and I'll see you soon. Bye!